Welcome to the Environmental Data Management Best Practices Overview video. Throughout history, humans have collected and passed down knowledge of their environment to better understand the planet that sustains them. This environmental knowledge has a long and vital tradition that lies at the heart of the human experience. In order to have easily accessible quality data, we need to develop organized systems, much like a library. That organized data management system allows you to leverage the value out of the data to create wisdom. However, these data do not organize themselves. If you don't manage your data well, it might end up looking like this instead of an organized library. Disorganized data does not have the same value as organized data in a system. This video will cover the basics of environmental data management by introducing you to the subject areas in this ITRC guidance. The ITRC Environmental Data Management Best Practices team developed and published the guidance in December 2022. Think of all the exciting things you would like to do with your data. Do you want to automate tasks, deploy machine learning, perform advanced statistics, or develop an exciting visual or dashboard? This is only possible if you have quality, defensible data in an organized system. Environmental data management is a complicated subject, but don't worry. We're here to introduce you to the basics, help you find what you need to manage your organization's environmental data, and navigate an effort that can quickly become quite complex. Currently, with modern technologies for collecting environmental data, environmental professionals find themselves dealing with a variety of data sources, field observations, geographic remote sensors, high frequency continuous monitors, analytical laboratories, qualitative or unstructured data sources, and many more. Because these individual pieces have such a significant impact on the overall value of the data to the stakeholder, it's of the utmost importance to make sure that each datum is accurate and well maintained. ITRC developed guidance documents which, while not comprehensive on every aspect of data workflows, do cover the fundamentals and are a solid foundation for you to build upon. The documents are organized into 10 topics. They can be read sequentially or explored by individual topics based on your needs. In them, you can find information on how to manage your environmental data as an asset for effective decision making. This video provides a high-level overview of the guidance. This guidance does not include any policies or standards. It focuses on the data management as a strong foundation of an organized, defensible data set. What the data set is then used for, such as analysis, statistics, or visualization, is not covered. So let's start with planning. Planning instills confidence within the stakeholders and sets you up for long-term use of your data. The data management planning section gets you started and covers topics from data governance to data management plans. Here, you can find a checklist to help you determine what data governance your organization should put into place, such as IT policies or disaster recovery protocols. There's also a data management planning tool to help guide you through each stage of the data lifecycle as you develop your data management plans. The data life cycle is shown here, moving from planning to data acquisition to maintenance, and then on to publishing or sharing and retaining. Environmental data is frequently used to make consequential decisions. Knowing the quality of your data is crucial for having confidence in those decisions. Data quality needs to be considered at every stage in the data life cycle. The data quality section provides planning guidance, checklists, and a matrix of data quality dimensions, such as completeness and correctness, for various types of environmental data. Also included is guidance for reviewing and documenting the quality and usability of a data set, with links to helpful state and federal resource documents. The data exchange section provides best management practices and resources to build stakeholder confidence in the long-term use of the data. These exchanges may share data with a regulatory agency or other stakeholders involved in your work, or when migrating data within your organization. Imagine you have to provide your data to eight different stakeholders to match their systems. 
Can you transfer the data efficiently while maintaining its integrity? This is the important component of data exchange. We have included case studies on data exchange and data migration to show lessons learned. Field data require careful collection to be representative and defensible. Having a plan and understanding your data quality objectives and final work product are critical for successful field data collection. Data collected can be in various formats, including hard copy, structured digital, and unstructured digital, and cover a spectrum of time and space scales. Our field data collection best practices fact sheets present suggested techniques for developing field data collection programs focused on data quality types, quality control of these data, training of field staff, and other considerations. This section also includes an interactive tool to help you decide if paper or digital form will work best for your project needs. Of course, if you're collecting field data, you'll want to collect geospatial data about where that sample was collected. In fact, it's quite rare to have environmental data without some sort of geographic component. In the geospatial data section, you can find guidance on the particular components of data management unique to geographic data including the types of field hardware you'll need, or the particular valid values to properly characterize geographic data that may be critical to your reporting effort. And speaking of reporting, when the time comes to represent your data in a map, we have some brief guidance on visualizing data via maps, both online and paper, and links to many resources to go even deeper into this topic. One underutilized data type is traditional ecological knowledge. TEK is unique place-based data that are a product of long-held relationships with the land, a neighborhood, or a community. When available, TEK adds a new essential dimension to your data. Using TEK also presents unique challenges such as creating data sharing agreements and developing trust and engagement with the community. Our hope is that the special data management considerations outlined in the document will result in greater use of this data asset. We've also included a number of TEK case studies to show how data were acquired, properly managed, and an example of where TEK data should have been incorporated from the start of the project. Data are only an asset if they're available to and understandable by the applicable stakeholders from internal users to the general public. The Public Communication and Data Accessibility Fact Sheet includes key principles and concepts, considerations when planning public communication, and tools that could be used to make sure your data are shared successfully. This has been a general introduction to the ITRC guidance document, Environmental Data Management Best Practices. With the tour complete, we hope you are ready to dive into the additional information and resources available in the ITRC Environmental Data Management Best Practices website. Please visit itrcweb.org for more information. The Interstate Technology and Regulatory Council is a nonprofit research program of the Environmental Council of the States. ITRC is a state-led organization composed of over 1,000 members from state agencies, federal government, tribal and international organizations, the private sector, academia, and community stakeholders. Members participate in technical teams which produce guidance, tools, resources, and training materials. If you'd like to be a part of ITRC, please visit the ITRC website at itrcweb.org you can register for teams and learn more about how you can be an active member. ITRC's usage policy is available on the ITRC website. If you do plan to use ITRC materials, we ask you to review that policy in detail and be sure to credit ITRC. ITRC does not warranty the material nor endorse any specific products. Thank you for watching this overview video for the Environmental Data Management Best Practices team. We invite you to visit the team website at itrcweb.org to explore these topics further.